Oh, who say I'm evil? No, no. I was trying to escape from my drunkard, useless husband. Hi, Asia One. I'm Rebecca Lim, and I'm playing Si Ling in Confinement. Hi, Asia One. I'm Calvin Tong, the director of the Confinement. Hi, Asia One. I'm Cynthia Ko, and I play Aching in Confinement. Confinement is, uh, I think, a film about every mother's greatest nightmare. At the moment where you start to bring a new life into the world, there comes a stranger in your house, and and that's the confinement nanny. She can be the greatest of help to you, but she can also be the greatest of threat to you and your baby. So that very intimate household danger, I find very riveting. And uh, part of it came from, of course, I have two daughters and I've had two confinement nannies. So when I'm observing them, you will feel naturally as a parent, you know, as in like, we only met this auntie literally like four hours ago. And, and now she's going to go into the bedroom with your four day old baby. You know, it's like, what makes you trust her so much, you know? So that got me thinking about um, confinement nannies as a possible subject of a psychological thriller. Well, um, in this movie, Confinement, I play Si Ling, and she is very used to being alone. I mean, growing up in an orphanage, she does not have any family, she hardly has any friends, maybe just only one friend. In her mid-30s, when she finally gets some kind of result in the art scene, she's an artist. At the same time, she gets pregnant, and I think it's just bad timing. A good friend advises her to get a confinement nanny so that things would be better after the baby arrives. She agrees, and the baby arrives, so does the confinement nanny. And, um, and trouble ensues. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, who say I'm evil? No, no. I was trying to escape from my drunkard, useless husband. And to make a living, although I don't look like one in the show also, she's about 40-something, I have to make a living out of something, right? So as an Ipo girl, I think that was what I wanted to do. So actually, I served a few families before that, before coming to Rebecca. So I'm a very experienced, confinement person. Yeah, who says I'm... Yeah, no. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> 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 So you have to watch it that quarter. <laughs> in the nature of psychological thrillers, you want a situation to be such that you keep the audience guessing. Like, is there something wrong with the mom? Or is it the confinement nanny? I think the longer you can do that in a very possible fashion, you increase the tension of a film. So of course I'm not gonna tell you the the uh like 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 like, like who's who. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's a psychological thriller and um I think you are talking about a new mother who is undergoing a lot of hormonal changes. I think somebody in the position and experiencing that kind of anxiety and having a, a stranger in a house, you can imagine all kinds of things, including uh, supernatural stuff, probably. Yeah. I think for a TV series, you rarely come by thrillers now, and I've never got into a horror show as well. So. This is totally a new genre to me, totally different. It's a, it's a really stepping out of a comfort zone and just experiencing something very new for me. Yeah, This is also a first time for me and I was just chatting with Cynthia right before this press conference. I say that we are very blessed to be able to be part of a movie because in this uh, current climate, movies don't come by very easily and to have a movie with such a riveting script and very well-written characters. So. We are very fortunate to be a part of Confinement. Yeah. He loves thrillers. Yeah. So um, every time when we have movie date nights, um, he would always suggest, um, you know, something that's very like thrilling. You know, or I think yeah. after after you finish this film, you're gonna be the thriller expert in the house. I think so. And the next time he says, "Let's watch a thriller," you just look at him. Can you see? Comedy. <laughs> Comedy. <laughs> yeah, so I think he's really excited about this movie as well. Yeah. I started making horror and all thrillers because I love watching it. And so um, it's hard for me to watch either a horror film or a thriller nowadays because um, it's 
is an occupational hazard. I I, I watch it uh, figuring out how they are doing it. So it's hard for me to get into stories. And so sometimes to unwind, I, I find myself watching romances now. Yeah, because they, those genres, genres which I'm not familiar with, it really, you know, that's when I can be absorbed into it. But for thrillers, I'll be like, oh, pause, slow rewind. Oh, that's, that's the cut. Oh, 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 that's how they did it. Yeah, so, so it, it is difficult for me to watch trailers. But I watch all of them. I think, of course, there is a whole bag of cinematographic tricks, lighting tricks, uh, musical cues you can use. And, and we do use, employ a lot of them. But my very first thing I always believe in is that the story has to be very credible and the character has to be somebody that the audience really can empathize with. Because the moment you put the audience in the same shoes as the main character, maybe he or she is undergoing some form of tension. Effectively, what you're doing is you're putting the audience in that spot. And that's when they're going to feel the most tension and anxiety. So I think that's the evergreen trick to really executing a good thriller or horror film. Like what Taoyin said, I, I think I agree with it. It's, it's back to the story. You have seen so many, whether it's Hollywood, whether it's uh, Asian thrillers and all that, it's, it's back to the story. And if you have a good story, it strings you and then it just glues you to your seat and just want to watch it. But at the same time, you're scared of it. So yeah, I think that is a good mix of excitement you know, when you watch a movie like that. Mm -hmm. Well, I think psychological thrillers are actually even scarier than horror films um, because it deals with the psyche of a human being. So it actually can happen in reality. So I think that's a lot scarier than the jump scares and a ghostly figure, you know. So humans are actually really scarier than ghosts. So <laughs> I think that's the whole horror, horrific thing about a psychological thriller. Hi everyone I'm watching this. I have two really incredible actresses here with me and I think it's the first time they're working together. It's the first time I'm working with Cynthia. It's the second time I'm working with Rebecca and I think they're going to do really well in our next film, Confinement. So when it comes out, please do support us. Remember to watch it in the third quarter of 2023. Oh man. <laughs>